my name is Bertina, and I am so excited to be back here on Epic Reese to show my book look for Witches Steeped in Gold by Shein and Smart. If you are into enemies joining forces to take down a mutual threat, lots of hijinks, backstabbing, and betrayal, just an itty bitty tiny little itty bitty tiny bit of romance, and lush, beautiful Jamaican-inspired fantasy stories, then there's there's really nothing else to, to say. You just you have to read this book. So if you'd like to see how I put this book look for Witches Steeped in Gold by Shein and Smart all together, then please keep on watching. As always, we're starting with a clean bare face, but before putting on any products, we need to apply a bald cap. To do that, I'm slicking my hair back and gelling and hair spraying it as flat as possible and hiding the rest of my hair in a low and tight braid. After, I'm applying some special effects adhesive with a Q-tip around the perimeter of my face. While the glue dries and gets tacky, I'm cutting my bald cap to fit my head. Once the glue is tacky, I'm just slipping and pulling the bald cap down until it's flush against my head. With a little bit of acetone on a Q-tip, I'm melting a hole in the sides of my bald cap so I can slip my ears out. I'm also using acetone to melt the excess parts of my bald cap off and to smooth out the edges around my face before gluing any loose parts down with more special effects glue. Once everything is glued down and smoothed out, I'm moving on to blocking my brows with several layers of a washable glue stick and using my airbrush tool to help each layer dry until my blocked brows are flat and smooth to the touch. After that, I'm setting them with some translucent setting powder. Next, I'm using some green cream body paint to help block the dark pigment of my brows and setting them again with more translucent setting powder. Next step now is to prime my face and eyes for body paint. With my airbrush tool, I'm using a mix of green and black airbrush paints all over the bald cap just to get a foundation shade all over my head. Using the same green cream paint I used on my brows, I'm using it like a concealer and applying it under my eyes. For the rest of my face and body, I'm doing a mix of different greens and black body paint to color match as best as I can to the book cover color palette. Once that first layer of paint is down, I'm using my airbrush tool again and a darker green mix to fill in any streaky spots. After that, I'm using black and white airbrush paints to contour, highlight, and to better define my features through all of the paint. Next, I'm moving back up to my eyes to start the eye look. I did one side off camera, but to achieve this, I'm first going to cover up the rest of my fleshy skin tone with a matte lime green eyeshadow. I'm not being too clean with this, just ensuring that everything gets covered up with green. I'm starting a cut crease with some black cream body paint just on the innermost center part of my eyelid. For this, I'm using the outer edge of my irises whenever I look forward as my guide to help keep both eyes symmetrical. Afterwards, I'm setting the cream paint with some matte black eyeshadow. Next, I'm using a white eyeliner pencil to mark the big wing line shape, just so it's easier to erase and fix in case I mess it up, before going over it with white body paint. Even if we mess up with the white paint, it's okay, we could just fix it and clean up any lines with more green body paint later. With some gold metallic body paint, I'm tracing my next line by following the top edge of my black cut crease and making a smaller wing shape inside of my white wing liner. Next, I'm dotting along the outer edge of my black cut crease with some lash glue to mark where I'm going to place big and small gold pearls and rhinestones. I'm also going to add another gold line just above my white wing line, stopping it right at the rhinestones and pearls. If you look at the cover of Witches Steeped in Gold, you'll see these beautiful gold geometrical lines and shapes, which was my main inspiration for this eye look. Next, I'm using a green liquid shimmer eyeshadow to top off the center of my black cut crease. I'm focusing the shadow more on the inner portions of my eye so there's still this nice contrast from the black eyeshadow on the outer edges. And with a duochrome gold and green shimmer shadow, I'm tapping just a little bit on the center ball of my eyelid. To pay reference to the beautiful markings on Jasmine and Ira on the book cover, I'm taking some square shaped gold craft gems and attaching them above the eye look. I'm also painting some triangles and dots similar to the marks on Ira and Jasmine beside the gems and just below my bottom lash line. Next, I'm dipping into various shades of green body paint to roughly paint, shade, and outline the Ica jungle leaves and reed designs from the book cover all across my bald cap and along my shoulders and chest. Once all of my Ica jungle foliage is painted, I'm recontouring and better defining around my face and body with dark green and black airbrush paint to better color match myself to the book cover. And my nails, because I also got to match my nails with the book too. Anyways, if you open up Witches Steeped in Gold, you'll see the chapter headings have this gorgeous design similar to the shapes and lines on the cover. I wanted to incorporate this into the look and decided to turn it into a gold painted decolletage design that looks like an extension of my Uriah necklace. Before I start to paint the design, I'm first marking where my Uriah collar necklace will sit with a white eyeliner pencil. Afterwards, I'm roughly sketching where the rest of the chapter header design will sit on my chest. Once I have the general shape of the design down, I'm going over everything with the same gold metallic paint I used on the eye look. Music 
I'm also painting some extra lines across my shoulders, which I'll embellish later. But once everything is all painted, I'm setting everything with some heavy duty setting spray. Before my setting spray can dry, I'm quickly applying some gold highlighter along my cheekbones, chin, nose, cupid's bow, forehead, collarbones, shoulders, basically all over me, just to get the optimum amount of golden witchy glow and shine. After I'm using the same black cream paint that I used on my eyes as a lipstick, and I'm topping off the center of my lips with the same green shimmer shadow that I used on the eye look. Next, I'm curling my lashes in preparation for some big dramatic falsies, and I'm blending in my lash band with just a teensy bit of black liquid eyeliner just on the lash band and on my inner corner. Once those falsies are on, I'm slathering a hefty amount of black mascara on my lower lash line and flicking out some fake painted lashes with my liquid eyeliner along the outer corner of my bottom lashes. And just because I love being shiny and sparkly, I'm topping off my lips with some super shiny lip gloss and my golden cut creases and triangles with some golden glitter. After that, I'm gluing some gold pearls along the gold lines on my shoulders to make them look a little bit more like accessory chains. Once all of my rhinestones and pearls are on, it's time for my witches steeped in gold head and face chain mask! Yay! If you'd like to see how I made this headpiece, I'll be uploading a video on how I did it over on my YouTube channel and my IGTV coming soon, so please be sure to check it out! Slight spoiler alert! My main inspiration for this headpiece came from not only the gold designs on the book cover, but also Iraya's gold conduit coin, the magic system in relationship to gold, and the god Anansi in the story. So in honor of all of those, I wanted to decorate my chain mask with gold conduit coins and make the gold chains drape, almost like it's an Anansi spiderweb mask across my head and face. Once that headpiece is on, last step now is to put in some witchy whiteout contacts and paint my arms and hands. But after that, we're done! Woo! Here is our finished look for Witches Steeped in Gold by Shannon Smart! I wanted to thank Shannon Smart immensely for this beautiful, lush, black girl, magic-filled story. I can't wait to read what happens next with Uriah and Jasmine! I also wanted to thank HarperCollins Publishers for commissioning me for this book look and for always supporting my passion and my artwork. This was such a fun look to put together and even more fun to read! As always, thank you all for joining me. Let me know what book looks you'd like to see me do next, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!